friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video we will see how we can implement login with github in asp.net mvc so um, we will try to use the login with github in this application so the first step for that is you have to log in with your github account so this is my github account you have to go to this menu and click on settings so once you do that you will see um, this kind of screen on your page okay so here you will be able to see this option developer settings you have to click on that here you will see the option auth app you have to click on this option and then you have to so you will not see any app created there you have to click on a new auth app and uh, so i will show you what kind of screen you will see so i will click on new auth app so you will see this kind of screen so in this you have to add the application name so you can use any kind of application name now then you have to add the home page url now this home page url should be the url where you will add the um, button login with github okay then the third thing is the callback url so this is the url where you will go after the authentication is successful okay so this is should be a action on the uh, controller so if you go to the controller i have added this action over here so the same path i have provided here so there it will go after the successful login okay then you have to click on register application okay so i have already created this application so i will open up uh, open that application okay so in your application you will not see any client secret here okay but you have to click on generate a new client secret and that will generate one client secret like this uh, uh, for you and you have to copy the client secret there you will see the copy option you have to copy the client secret and you have to copy the client id so these two you will use in the code okay so both of these i have added in the uh, web config so this is client id and client secret i have added from there then i have the redirect uri this is the same uh, url and that we have added in the uh, so we have added this url here this url should be uh, stored here in the uh, key okay so that we will need in the code so after you do that now we have the client id and client secret now we have to go and uh, uh, install one nugget package octokit so you have to search this nugget package and install in your application after you do that you have to go to the home controller okay so on the first thing that i have done is i have got the client id and redirect url from the web config and i have stored them in the view bag which i am uh, using on the index page so and this is the button that we have here is github login okay so we have passed the client id here from the view bag and the redirect uri from the uh, view bag then we are saying that we want the user email uh, from this uh, login okay so i will just run the application now to see how it is working so i will open up this in the incognito uh, to show you the complete process so see first of all index method will come and there you will get the client id and uh, redact url okay so we have those now we are using that in the um, button or anchor tag okay so we have this button github login when i click on this button it will redirect to the url of github uh, for authentication okay so you will see this kind of screen now it is asking for login so uh, once you do the login okay because i have already used my account okay so um, i will show you what kind of screen you will see after this okay so once you do the login you will be able to see this kind of screen and here you will see the authorize button okay with your account id you have to click on this authorize button okay now what it will do when you will click on this authorize button okay so here i have already authorized so uh, it will not ask for authorization okay so i will just do once more i will put a breakpoint 
okay so like i said once you click on the uh, login button after you authorize you will be getting here with the code okay this code is the code from github now we are using the client id client secret again and the redirect uri and the code all these we are using to get the access token from this api okay so if you go below you will be able to get the uh, access token from that api now once you have got the access token we can get the uh, detail of the user which we have uh, login from so we have to add the uh, code tonight which is the application name which you created uh, on github so if you go back so this is the name that you have to add in the code okay here now this is the access token that we have passed from there and so this is like this will come from octokit so because uh, you have to use this you have to add the uh, octokit nugget package here okay so this uh, features we are using from that package so now here we are trying to get the user detail okay and if you go to user you will be able to see the user detail from your github account okay so this is how you can uh, do the login with github so we are returning the complete object from here and showing on the screen so this is the user which i log in from okay so you will be able to see your account which you you used for login so now if you need the code part what you can do is you have can go to our official website codetonight.com we will also provide you the uh, direct link of the blog so you can use that also so on this you will be able to go down and here you will be able to see the blog login with github in asp.net mvc so uh, from here you can check the complete code that we just seen in the video and also the steps of creating the uh, app i have showed here in the screenshots so you can check all those and you can also uh, download the attachments okay so uh, let us know if you face any kind of issue and thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe if this works for you so thanks for watching